Hey guys, Scott here in Eastwood Garage. Do you find yourself making 3 16th double flares over and over on the car? Or do you need a cost effective way to ensure you can make a high quality flare without the use of those old pinch style flare tools? After years of selling our turret style flare tool, we had customers saying they needed an option to throw in their toolbox for the most common 3 16th brake lines. In front of me today is just that, the Eastwood On Car Flare Tool. We've taken the error-free design from our turret flare tool and applied it into this handheld unit. You'll be able to make perfect, repeatable double flares in one convenient package. Let's walk through the steps so I can demonstrate the ease of use. First thing I always do in creating a flare is to ensure the end of the line is ready with our deburring tool. It quickly cleans the inside and outside edges of the line. Next up is a little bit of lubrication on the end of the line to ensure a smooth flare process and provide you with the longest tool life. Now, you're ready to slide the line in from the back of the dies. Important tip here, make sure you have your line knot on first. Been there, done that, only to cut the flare off. At this point, make sure your line protrudes past the viewing hole on the dies and finger tighten the two bolts to snug up the line in the dies. That simplicity I was talking about earlier plays out next as we grab the Operation Zero die from the kit and begin threading it in from the front. This will press the line back into the dies to the proper depth for the next step, taking all the guesswork out. Once this die bottoms out, you can tighten the two bolts on the die blocks to lock the line in place. Don't worry, the Operation Zero die will still easily back out and doesn't get stuck in here. Last two steps are easily carried out with the Operation 1 and 2 combination die from this kit. It's clearly marked to eliminate any confusion. Simply insert the OP1 into the front of the die blocks and begin to tighten with your wrench to finish off until it bottoms out in the threads. Backing this back out will allow you to flip the die over and repeat the process and create the perfect 3 16 SAE double flare in the process. Say goodbye to the lopsided flares created with the old style units and hello to time saving perfection. No matter what step of restoration you're on, odds are you'll need a flare tool at some point. Save time and money by picking up the Eastwood On Car Flare Tool today. To get yours or more information, you can click or tap the button in the corner or follow the link that appears on screen.